Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. If you don't already follow me, I post beauty, fashion, and sometimes vlogs. Today's video, I am doing a mini luxury haul slash unboxing. To be honest, this is quite a spontaneous video because I wasn't ever planning on filming this, but I realized this is actually a special moment for me because this is my first time ever buying these products. And also this is the first time I've ever spent this much on these type of products. Low key, I hope my mom doesn't see this video, but we'll see. And on top of that, this is also my first Chanel purchase. I don't think I've ever purchased anything from Chanel handbag accessory like whatever it is so yeah i will um, i will let you know how it goes okay so the reason why i purchased these products at this time is because these were on sale except for one product normally i would not be spending this much money on these type of products but i wanted to treat myself and also i felt like this was one of the only times that these items go on sale but i'm i'm not sure so if it's if it gets more than these discounts please let me know I'm also going to be unboxing and giving you my first impression and when i say my first impression i actually mean my first impression because I have never actually went and tested any of these products or got the chance to smell it. Ideally, I think I would have loved to do that right now, but due to the coronavirus and we're not allowed to go out, I was not able to test these out beforehand. However, I have read reviews online and these ones are all very popular products. So that's why um, I'm pretty confident that I will probably be keeping this. But even if I don't, there is a free return policy right now going on. So hopefully I won't need to get to that point but you know worst case scenario i think i can return these okay so the first item that i got is the chanel product that i told you guys about and this is the chanel hand cream once again this is so unnecessary because for hand cream this is 70 dollars canadian i have never spent that much money on hand cream ever in my life so right now they are having a sell at holt renfrew for 15 percent off which is where i ideally would have wanted to get this product but they didn't have it in the color white which is what I wanted so I ended up getting it at Shoppers Drug Mart. You can use your points so I think I will go ahead and start opening this. I am actually so excited but also so nervous because once again this is my first Chanel product. Next one hopefully it will be a bag but we'll see. The way I want to do this is unbox it and also kind of tell you my first impression and everything so here we go. Right off the bat, the packaging is super clean and super on brand with Chanel's brand. I actually love that this box out here is completely white and just outlined in black. I feel like that's really, really chic. Yeah, let's go on and open it. Has anyone ever seen that scene with Monica and Chandler where Chandler's trying to unwrap his Vegas tickets? <laughs> Ready? Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, this is the product. This is what it looks like. And for my first impression, two things that I'm surprised about because I've seen a lot of pictures of this product before. So two things I'm really surprised about. Number one is the size. This is a lot larger than I expected it. It's pretty much the size of my palm. I was expecting it to be about maybe like up to here max for height. This is actually quite a pleasant surprise because it means I get more product or maybe there's one that's smaller I'm not sure but from pictures this definitely looks really small. The other thing I'm surprised about is this is more matte. I don't know if you're able to see it from the video, but I definitely from pictures thought that this was going to be this very shiny color. So that's definitely another surprise. But basically you pop the cap off like this. If you are not sure how to use this product, I do only because I have seen other videos and I'm sure you do because now you're watching this video but if you are unsure there is a little diagram right here showing you how to use it so the first step is you pop it off like this and then the second step is you just directly use it so just waiting for the product okay so let's be real let's not use too much this is like 70 bucks 
Wow, okay, first impression, this smells really good. And the texture of this is very lightweight. Also, I put my hand cream on very weirdly because I don't like having it in my palms. I only like it in the back of my hand. So I put my hand cream on like this and I avoid my palm, but I try to get through all the crevices here so that these parts aren't dry, but I really don't like it on my palm. I also have really sweaty hands, unfortunately, but also very dry on the top, which is why there's no point of me lotioning the palms of my hands. But so far, first impression, it doesn't have like a strong floral scent or whatever. I think definitely lotion is the best way to describe it. It's definitely more lotion-y instead of cream. But yeah, I really, really like this. This is so cute. Also, another thing that I'm surprised about, most beauty products have a expiration date after you open. It doesn't say that on here. So when does this expire or does it not expire because it's you know, $70. <laughs> Moving on to the next product. So the next two products that I got are two Dipti candles. And the reason why I got these is once again, because Whole Run Fruit is having a 15% off sale. And I have always seen these and always wanted to try these candles, but have never had the heart to spend that much on a candle. So these candles, this one is the regular size one. And this is originally $92 Canadian. With the 15% discount, I got it for $78. 20 for the 190 grams the set here is three mini candles to be honest this set is not like a bulk purchase meaning just because you bought three doesn't make it cheaper this was actually just the price of three combined but it had all the scents that i wanted to try so i was like okay whatever might as well but each of the candles here are 49 dollars for 70 grams so this one is significantly cheaper i'm always one of those people if you saw my foundation video i do look at the grams because don't just look at the price sometimes it is cheaper to get the smaller one than the bigger one surprisingly not in this case though this one is definitely a lot cheaper than the set of three but like i said i just wanted to try these out and i also wanted the mini size to kind of spread around the house and have that as a decor piece so one thing that i really like about this candle and what got me to purchase it is because there are super reputable candle brand it is based from france and i've seen it used a lot not just as a candle but also you are able to reuse the cup later i'm sure that goes for every single candle on the market but these are also kind of like collectibles if you will i think people treat them as this luxury item that you can also keep the candle and use it as decor afterwards so i definitely like the idea of that another reason why i wanted to try a more expensive candle is because i am a huge candle person in, but one thing that I find, especially the candles that I've been purchasing, is that it doesn't get the entire house to smell like the candle. I don't even have that big of an apartment and I think what I'm looking for is I just want the smell to be a little bit more potent around the house. So some of the candles I've tried are the Febreze one and that one is really good if you're up close, but I find that the smell doesn't really translate in like a big range so i'm hoping that this might be a different experience i have heard that as a review for most luxury candles that it does have this really strong smell and even when it's unlit it smells on its own so i just kind of want to have that type of <laughs> experience do you need to pay 90 dollars for it maybe not but you know what let's try it out okay so enough talking i'm just gonna unbox this one so this one is in the is it called bays base I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I think it's in the scent base. And this one is one of the most popular scents that I've seen online and reviewed. So I wanted to give this one a try. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so right off the bat, the minute I opened this plastic wrap, the scent just bursted out and you can smell it so clearly. Wow, this is a really, really nice smell. Okay, so opening from the top, there's like a little... I'm not sure if this is like instructions or something. Oh, wow, it tells you which fragrance to combine this with. So it can smell like a garden. So in this booklet, there's also instructions. Let me just quickly read this and get back to you. Two hours later. 
Okay, so there's actually a lot of information on here that I didn't know. I'm not sure if you guys know any of this, but I wasn't aware that you have to trim your wick. I kind of just every single time I'll just keep relighting it, relighting it. I did not know that you need to trim it. The second thing is that the first time you burn your candle, you need to burn it for at least two or three hours until all the wax on the surface has become liquid. And apparently this is supposed to prevent the wax from tunneling down around the wick. So that's actually really good to know. The third thing I didn't know also is you're not allowed to move a candle at its lit or liquid state i don't know if this is like if you're watching this and you're like that's so obvious but sometimes if i just want to carry my candle around i just want it to go in a different place i just never hesitated to move it so that's definitely good to know okay now the actual candle review so this is what it looks like the packaging is not a surprise once again because i've seen this in pictures and everything I think the one surprise that I do have is the corners of the candle is not the cleanest. I'm not sure if it's because of transportation because even just tilting it right now, it has come off. So I'm not sure if it's because I bought this online, but like as you can see, it's already left a mark. So this might be from the carrier when they transported the candle. I don't know if anyone relates to this, but I used to be one of those people who really, really savors the good things and I never really use it so I remember this very distinctive memory as a kid when I used to have these really really cute pink Hello Kitty clips and I never wanted to use it because I didn't want to damage it and basically I just put it away and stored it away and just never use it even though I loved it I just never wanted to damage it it wasn't until a few years ago when I was cleaning out my closet and I saw those clips and it brought back this huge memory where I would always like look at it and never use it and just kind of savor it because I didn't want anything bad to happen to it. Even though this was a few years too late, it taught me the good things should be used or else it ends up going to waste because now I'm not gonna be wearing a plastic Hello Kitty pink clip anymore. There's a difference between savoring something and using it and taking care of it. And I think I just savored it, but I think what I should have done is to use it, but just really taking care of the item. And that way it wouldn't have gone to a complete waste, which is just it never being used and it never being touched. I wanted to share that story because sometimes when I look at expensive things that I purchase and in my heart, I look at it and I'm just like, I don't think I'm ever gonna use this because I don't wanna destroy it. It, it brings me back to that memory and I'm like nope I will be burning this candle yeah and then hopefully I get to use the rest of the cup as a decor piece or for my makeup brushes okay so now moving to unbox the three diptyque candles that are in the mini size once again 70 grams and once again the full size is more worth it so this box looks like this and you can already smell some of the scents together and when you open it wow this is really pretty Okay, so no instructions this time, but these are very pretty. It has this scent again, which I don't mind because it honestly does smell really good. So I think I can put this in another area of my house. This one, I don't really smell that much of it right now. I, I'm not sure if it's because it's just so mixed up with the three. Definitely the scents on here are a little bit more subtle. I'm not sure if it's because it's smaller so the scent isn't as strong. But also what's really interesting about these candles is that there is no wax residue on the top. I will also show you guys a size comparison. This is the big one and this is the small one. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, this was a really spontaneous video, but I wanted to document kind of like this luxury unboxing. And also if anyone else is interested in purchasing the product, I just wanted to show you guys my first impressions. If I end up do really liking them, I will be putting them in my next monthly favorites. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below if you are familiar with these items and if you know any other scents for Diptyque that I should try. So anyway, that was pretty much the video for for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!